Uh, what do you think about like the context window? This mm -hmm. increasing length of the context window is that does that open up possibilities when you start getting to like, uh, like a hundred thousand tokens, a million tokens, ten million tokens, a hundred million tokens? I, I don't know where you can go. Mm -hmm. Does that ch fundamentally change the whole set of possibilities? It does in some ways. It doesn't matter in certain other ways. I think it lets you ingest like more detailed versions of the pages uh, while answering a question. Uh, but note that there's a trade-off between context size increase and the level of instruction following capability. Mm -hmm. it, and so most people, when they uh, advertise new context window increase, they talk a lot about uh, finding the needle in the haystack sort of evaluation metrics and less about whether there's any degradation in the instruction following performance. Mm -hmm. So I, th I think that's where uh, you need to make sure that throwing more information at a model doesn't actually make it more confused. Like like it's just having more entropy to deal with now mm -hmm. and might, might, might even be worse. So I think that's important. And in terms of what new things it can do, um, I feel like it can do uh, internal search a lot better. I think that's an area that nobody's really cracked. Like searching over your own files, like searching over your, like, 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 uh, Google Drive or Dropbox. And the reason nobody cracked that is because um, the indexing that you need to build for that is very different nature than web indexing. Um, and uh, instead, if you can just have the entire thing dumped into your prompt and ask it to find something, it's probably gonna be a lot uh, more capable. And, I'm, I'm, and you know, given that the existing solution is already so bad, I think this will feel much better, even though it has its issues. So, and and the other thing that will be possible is memory, though not in the way people are thinking. Where um, I'm going to give it all my data, and it's going to remember everything I did, um, but more that um, it feels like you don't have to keep reminding it about yourself. And maybe it'll be useful, maybe not so much as advertised, but it's it's something that's like you know on on the cards. But when you Truly have like like AGI like systems that I think that's where like you know memory becomes an essential component where it's like lifelong. It has it knows when to like put it into a separate database or data structure. It knows when to keep it in the prompt. And I like more efficient things. So the systems that know when to like take stuff in the prompt and put it somewhere else and retrieve when needed. I think that feels much more an efficient architecture than just constantly keeping increasing the context window. Like that feels like brute force to me, at least. So in the AGI front, perplexity is fundamentally, at least for now, a tool that empowers humans yeah. to. Uh... Yeah. I like humans. I mean, I think you do too. Yeah, I love humans. So uh, I think curiosity makes humans special, and we want to cater to that. So that's the mission of the company, and and we harness the power of AI in all these frontier models to serve that, mm -hmm. and. I believe in a world where even if we have like even more capable cutting edge AIs, uh, human curiosity is not going anywhere and it's gonna make humans even more special. With all the additional power, they're gonna feel even more empowered, even more curious, uh, even more knowledgeable and truth seeking. And it's gonna to lead to like the beginning of infinity.